Okay, just another quick video here. I'm going to keep this one pretty short. So I have accessed the service menu of this radio. And if you know how to do the original bill, it is not the same. So if you try it, it's not going to work. Just take my word for it. It's pretty easy to figure out, though. Um, again, here's the serial number of this one. It was I believe the 22 means it was made in 2022. Um, that's just my take on that. And uh, the radio has now been adjusted to 4 watts AM and FM. So you see now we are in AM mode right there. And the 5 watts over here is 4 watts. So I did adjust the modulation ever so slightly for AM. It doesn't give you a lot, but uh, here we go with the voice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you know, 13, 14 watts is what you're going to see out of something like this, you know. A nice clean sound. It's not going to blow anybody out or anything like that. So, but uh, and for communication-wise, it's going to work just fine. Here is FM right here. Now this is just going to be your standard 4 watts. I didn't try to turn it down or anything like that. I'm assuming you could probably turn it down. But um, I would just steer clear of trying to run, you know, a little radio like this, trying to run an amplifier or something. You could probably do it on FM. Um, no problem. I don't know exactly what kind of output you would get. Um... I would say like a KL203P or something. You can put almost 10 watts in on FM on those and you'll see about the 100. So maybe you'd see like 40 or 50 out on FM. But again, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, on AM, I don't think these radios are really set up with the modulation that they have to do much on AM. So I would just avoid an amplifier altogether with a radio like this. If, you, if you're running a radio like this, you just simply want to have the option to talk when need be. Um, you know, this could be like a good emergency radio. It's got no weather, so it'll alert you if you got a weather uh, situation in your area. And I mean, if you're just getting into the hobby or something, you know, uh, I'm sure the amplifiers and all that stuff is something you're just probably not interested in, which is totally fine. So, you know, if you and a friend or relative bought a couple of these and you threw some antennas on your vehicles, as long as the antennas are tuned properly for the right frequency, these would work just fine. You know, if you're riding around town or whatever the case may be, uh, I would recommend running FM because, for one, you're not going to find as many people out there on the standard 40 CB channels running FM. So you're pretty much going to have the run of the mill unless there's some skip coming in or something, but... For the most part, skip is generally AM and single sideband. So I think uh, for anybody new that buys one of these new radios that gives you the option to do FM on the standard 40, I think you're going to have quite a, oh, you're not going to find much out there. So I think if you can get some friends interested in it with you, you're going to have a, a pretty good time talking because you're not going to have many out there that are, you know, interfering or doing anything like that. So it's going to be pretty much wide open. If you were to click over to AM, then you're going to hear a lot more activity, a lot more people running big powered stations and stuff like that. So I think FM is going to give you the chance to, you know, talk a little farther and uh, you're not going to need to really run much. You could just run a four watt radio and probably do quite well. I've already demonstrated on the last video that the, the sound quality out of this radio is really good in comparison to the AM. The AM, it just sounds a little flat, um, but when I demonstrated it before on FM, the FM had a very, very good quality sound. So I, I think FM is probably the way to go going forward with a lot of these new radios. So I'm, I'm excited to see what they come out with next. Um, hoping to see someone come out with an AM, FM, single sideband, 40 channel CB. And I would think probably you're going to see it from these guys with the McKinley. I don't know when, but I'm assuming eventually it will happen. So if you got any comments or anything, feel free to leave them. And we'll catch you guys on the next one, 7-3.